So what's up guys, it's Harsha from Gaming Entertainment, hope you're doing well and I'm so fine. So welcome to the episode 4 of the Daily Gaming News. So I'm really excited to share with you guys again the news coming from the God of War itself. So let's begin our first news today. So the first news coming from the God of War itself as I said it, uh, before and it's going to be something uh, the fans really need to be happy. Uh, so it's the God of War game has officially gone gold. This was confirmed by the director itself so it's an official post. Nothing needs to be worried regarding the delays or something uh, for polishing the game and remaining some kind of glitches or something. So the game has totally gone gold and this is an official statement uh, provided by the Cory Bar Barlog in the PlayStation blog. So what does the uh, term gold mean in the gaming? Uh, after its completion of its development, the game has to go gold. That means completely the game has to be done completely with 100% without glitches and without uh, anything the game need to be completely polished and to, it needs to be perfect so that's what the goal means and manga studios seems that uh, they are uh, really well crafted the game and they are given an official statement that the game has gone go now about after the goal so after the goal the productions uh, a mass production value start because already some of them are pre of the game and some are still waiting for the game to add up because uh, they will want to buy after seeing the review. If there are someone, I am sure that you will really buy this game after uh, seeing this review or something. Uh, it's it totally depend upon your mind. So yeah. Uh, so this is it for today's from the God of War. The game has officially gone goal and director Cory Barlog is very happy. In, in the, the fans are also very happy because uh, there is no point that this game is gonna delay again. Uh, so yeah. Sony has already confirmed the release date that it will be surely for April 20th. But uh, regarding this gold statement, yeah, now it will be 100% 20th April and I can't wait. Mention in the comment section down below what you think about this and yeah. Cody Bearlock has stated that if a game has to be uh, the important milestones in developing a game is first the green light uh, from the publisher itself because you need to have the confidence that the game will be uh, surely uh, some kind of people will like it. So he has an assurance that the people will like it and support the game. So he need to give a green light signal for that to begin the development and yeah after that the game has to go go without uh, without proper completion of the game you know you can't uh, get that game uh, to the outright into the device of PlayStation 4 or Xbox 5. So God of War is one of the Sony's most anticipated and one of the uh, iconic franchises so Sony is taking really new uh, new measurements for this game and I really like it because we are giving so much importance to this God of War and the marketing values are perfect. Uh, there are no one now that doesn't know God of War, so maybe there there are her, but yeah, I'm feeling really happy for this game because I'm a hardcore fan of the God of War. So what do you think about this game? Please mention in the comment section down below. So with that being said, let's move to our next news. So our next news comes from the Ubisoft. So if you are game, if you are a game developer and you want to open up your thinking wider, then you, uh, but you are in India. You know India is uh, somewhat bad when you compare it with the other countries in the gaming. Uh, don't know why people do, don't give importance to gaming in India, but you know, gaming is something we rock, man, right? So Ubisoft is launching their second new studio in the Mumbai, and they are expecting for the hundred employees at least in these two years. So yeah, it's a good news for the game developers who want to develop their uh, games and explore their uh, uh, thinking abilities. And the studio is coming to Mumbai now. So uh, according to the, the according to the uh, according to the Pune Ubisoft director. I was saying that, yeah, the thought, uh, the belief on the Indian gaming has been expanded, our thoughts, so that we are uh, letting a new studio in the Pune. Uh, this will increase the working of the AAA titles. So, this studio also supports the development of AAA titles and the existing titles as well, like the Prince of Persia and the famous Sanskrit, origin, uh, Sanskrit franchise, I can say. So this is the this is the big news from Ubisoft and for the game developers and it's I'm feeling happy for this because I want I just want to develop the games because I'm interested in it and yeah so ha as far as the Ubisoft said that they are going to launch a new studio with the hundred employees uh, they need to they uh, they want to take the hundred they need at least hundred employees in the two years uh, so to get the hundred employees the Pune uh, the workers in the Pune uh, will develop. Uh, will come up here and they will develop uh, the uh, newly uh, newly came features for this uh, what I can say newly came employees for this Ubisoft company and yeah they will make the they train well and yeah they are also to go they are yeah 
everything is going fine with Ubisoft, they are saying, and the production values they are kept are increasing, increasing day by day in India. So they got faith in India, and as well, uh, all of the other gaming companies are closing from the India. Don't know why, but Ubisoft is going well, and it's going to lead, if you ask me, because there are no other companies which step up and create a studio. Uh, are there but uh, the companies are present in India but they don't have the faith in the Indian people don't know why because, but Ubisoft taking is a, a but Ubisoft is gay, they are taking a good step on this if you ask me because Indians have a great talent and their amount of uh, mind explorability is so good if you ask me because uh, without the faith in Indians Ubisoft will never do this right it's a big step creating a studio is not a normal thing you need to uh, spend millions on creating a studio. Yeah, Ubisoft, uh, what word Ubisoft is made is a good decision if you ask me. Uh, I'm feeling very happy for this. So that's being said, let's go to our next news. So next news is coming from the EA guys. Now EA, is, EA has done a very good work introducing the AI technology in their game. Uh, so they are saying that we have included the AI artificial intelligence uh, bots to the game. Uh, in the battlefield one game so if you play mat multiplayer actually uh, there are total of the human human players like me or you who plays the battlefield one multiplayer but this time what he has done is they included the ai boat uh, but they are saying that these ai boats are with the weak strength and weak armor so that you can uh, chase them easily or you can kill them easily uh, they are saying that the, this this technology was included to create more fun in the game uh, or normally not you know go and die yourself and what the hell I was playing not like that you need to have more creative skills so that's why we had this AI feature in this game and yeah we will extend this uh, AI technology further we, uh, we will uh, extend this AI uh, technology further and make as a professional AI uh, player uh, trainer uh, if you ask me so what this AI boards will do is they play artificially from uh, learning from the console whatever the program they have done with it so yeah they are but they are with the low strength and low armor so then you can beat them up is e very easily if you ask me so you will not get the experience uh, as the human players do but you will definitely uh, get used to the game first because if you want to learn the basics you need to turn uh, you need to have some kind of uh, easy things going on in the game so yeah this is a very well uh, development that he has done to its battlefield one game and yeah it's going to build it always because you're gonna play with ai boards and you're gonna increase your skills and you, you know uh, you, you can be in a very cool state that you can manage both your teamwork and uh, exploring the uh, maps uh, exploring the map with the well, well playing with ais because you don't need to worry that they will come and bang yourself up uh, <laughs> bang you up but yeah you will get a good interaction with the map and your teammates with playing with the ai boards once try with this so i don't know where, uh, whether this has implemented already or not but yeah they are testing some studios and what did it is first they have to test in the basic and that was gone very well with them and they have and they have done with, with the help of the thai studio they have done it very carefully and they said that yeah it's perfect and we are going to implement in the game uh, we need to see how this AI boards will react and how the how fun the game will be uh, different from the human players. And when asked that, what about the professional players then? So when they said that, when asked about the professional players, they have no plans regarding this. We need to see how these AI's uh, AI boards will perform in the Battlefield One game. I'm really excited for this, and I will surely share your experience with you. So mention in the comment section down below what you think about AI including the AI feature in this uh, Battlefield One game. Uh, this is going to be lit good job EA. so this is it for today's gaming news episode guys hope you enjoyed this video give a like if you like this video and make sure to subscribe because i'm gonna bring lots of like, like this uh there is no uh major news today uh, let's see what uh what the new brings up tomorrow so yeah this is it for today meet you next video bye